Brian McFadden, whoa. We got a trade. Dwayne Brown gone. Out of H Town. Sounded like he wanted out, held out most of this year, came back for one week last Sunday, ironically, in Seattle. Guess what? He's now playing for the Seahawks. You see the resume, it's really good. Let's just look at it from Seattle's point of view. What does this mean for their beleaguered offensive line? It's a huge upgrade. Huge upgrade when you see Russell. I don't care what game you're watching, he's consistently running for his life. Yeah. Now they have an up and coming, not up and coming, but a reliable, consistent oh, yeah. left tackle to build on going forward. You got to look at what they're doing right now. They see the window of opportunity is there. Currently, our tops of their division, they're five and two, a big time win uh, against the Houston Texans, who Dwayne Brown <laughs> played with yesterday, well, did a real good him. job, looked extremely good yesterday, ending his holdout. So I like this move for Seattle. I don't know exactly, we don't have the logistics of the trade because remember Seattle already gave away a second or third round pick sure. for Sheldon Richardson with the New York Jets. So don't not knowing exactly what they got in return, but you know, Dwayne Brown is looking to get a contract extension. No, no. So I believe if the Seattle, if they're willing to make this move and give up a quality pick for Dwayne, Dwayne Brown, they're willing to give him an extension also. It feels like this is Pete Carroll and Seattle pushing some chips in here to say, we still think we can win, not just this division, well, but arguably the NFC with Aaron Rodgers out, right? The Cowboys well, have not looked like the Cowboys. I know the Eagles look really good. Yeah. But does this change the balance of power? Does Philadelphia now look at it and go, ooh, <clears throat> So they're making moves. Maybe we should shore up th some things we got with our well, injuries. I still like Philly because they have been more consistent. I think for such a long time, Seattle has devoted all their attention to one side of the football, no which has been the defensive side. Now they're showing the defense. You know what? We've been hearing all your gripes, all your little whispers in the locker room or into the, uh, to the media. And we're taking heed to that and we're trying to get better because we believe we can get a player or two and give us a better chance and not just winning our division, but getting into the playoffs and also competing for a championship. So I like this move. I love this move. I think now it's about just being consistent and finding a way to get the Legion of Boom to look like the Legion of Boom because it took 41 points Whew. to beat a rookie in Deshaun Watson. And we're not used to seeing that from the defensive side. 24 hours ago, Dwayne Brown was in Houston. Yeah. They played the Seahawks. Played pretty good, too. Looked in shape. And now year. Dwayne Brown is a member of the Seahawks.